back to my channel. It's um, It's been a while since I made a video. It's been like six months um, and I've gotten a little busy with things. Um, life has been a little crazy lately, but I am back um, with regular content for y'all. And um, in today's video, I'm gonna show you some orchids that I've had in bloom in the past couple of months that stood out. Um, I've been very busy. I haven't had time to take care of my collection as well as I have in the past. So that means I've been watering my collection a little bit less. Um, I lost a couple of seedlings, which is to be expected, just given that those need more care. And there were a couple of um, cattleyas that I lost. Nothing too crazy, just some of the like smaller orchids. Otherwise, I'm back to being able to give them my full attention. I'm watering my collection now in the winter about um, twice a week, so that's been pretty good and everything's growing nicely. I've had some nice blooms. I've had a couple of first-time bloomers, so I will show you some of those orchids that um, are new for me. And um, generally, I'm just waiting on some of the orchids that I have right now to bloom for the first time. I got some of them like two years ago from Sunset Valley Orchids and Hauserman, so a lot of them were younger seedlings, so I think this year they're about to bloom. So I'm going to show you, check out Zoe, I'm going to show you the orchids that have stood out um, in the last couple of months um, in bloom. So let me know down in the comments um, which one was your favorite and let me know. It's been a while guys. Let me know if there's any ideas for videos that you guys want to see. Um, I'll be back to making regular content now. So please let me know down in the comments below um, what you guys, any suggestions, any recommendations, anything you guys want to see and I will make a video. Alrighty guys, um, enjoy. First up we have the Brasso Lelio Catlia Sing Ying Greenworth. And this is one of my first Cattleya orchids. I got this from Carmela Orchids about two years ago. And um, it's one of those orchids that I got in bloom um, when I received it. And it's really nice. It has very waxy green yellow petals with a pink lip and it's very, very fragrant. Now this had a little uh, thrips infestation uh, last year when I went through that for the entire collection. So it's a tiny bit damaged but it's blooming very nicely. This is the bloom over the summer, and I'm happy to report that it's got a bud now and it is about to bloom again, but it's got a wonderful kind of citrusy floral fragrance. It's really nice. Up next, we have a hybrid called the Dendrobium Golden Brown crossed with the Dendrobium Tenate Blue. I got this at the beginning of the pandemic in 2020, and I got this as a tiny seedling of all places from Amazon. So Amazon has a seller called Angel's Orchids, and they sell random seedlings. At that point, I didn't really care what I was going to get. I just wanted some seedlings to grow, and this was one of the first to bloom from that batch. Um, this is the first Dendrobium that I have that's not a nobly type, this, that's uh, fragrant. So this is like a Denfile that's fragrant for me. It smells kind of like lilac. It's really pleasant. It's working on another cane right now um, that's going to be larger than this next one. So this one might be a beast, but it's really nice. Next is another Dendrobium. This one is the Dendrobium New Hope Mini. This is a really cute one. It's tiny. Um, I have it in a four inch um, square pot. You can check out the description if you wanna see the pot, but this one's really cute. It's been really easy to bloom and um, it, it fits on any shelf and it gave me about seven flowers. I look forward to seeing it bloom next time, but this one's adorable.
You guys have seen this one several times. This one's the Phalaenopsis Equestra Cerulea. I got this one from Hauserman Orchids and this orchid stays in bloom for a really long time because the spike continues to grow and extend and push more blooms. So this was in bloom at this point for four or five months just because it kept extending its spike. So this is a nice one if you want something to last a really long time. No fragrance but really cute and I uh, definitely need to repot this in the spring. Up next we have the Vanda Vietnamica. I got this from Gold Country Orchids. It was labeled as the uh, Vanda Green Light, but when it bloomed I realized it was the, the parent species of Vietnamica. This one is working out well in semi-hydro. I'll say that over time some of the orchids that I do have that are Vandas in semi-hydro aren't um, working out as well, so I may just change it. This one's still doing well. The blooms are really cute. No fragrance, but it's, it's a nice one. It's very unusual. Up next we have a Bulbophyllum cross of the Theurium cross with the Brennianum. Uh, this is an unregistered hybrid. It, uh, it blooms for me quite often and um, the only thing is the blooms don't last very long. It'll bloom for me for about maybe three, four days and then the bloom is gone. But with that said, it's bloomed for me maybe four times this year, which is nice. It's kind of like a lot of uh, Bulbophyllums, it's a little stinky, so it smells a tiny bit like rotten meat, <laughs> so it's not ideal, but that's only if you get your nose really close, but otherwise it's really, really cute. You guys know this one. This one's the Proctavola Key Lime Stars. This has been a very prolific bloomer in my collection. It blooms off every single new growth. The fragrance I've mentioned in the past before, it smells like sunscreen. <laughs> so it's really not too fragrant despite it having uh, Brassavola nodosa as a parent, but it's really cute. It blooms often. I got three blooms this time, which is nice. Very tight growth pattern, good if you grow indoors. Yet another reliable bloomer and I wish I re-recorded it now because this was over the summer because now we have even more blooms but this is the Phalaenopsis amboinensis. This is that famous Phalaenopsis species orchid that smells like burnt rubber. Now with that being said it's very beautiful. The blooms are just very unique. Each and every single one is a little bit uh, different uh, from the other so no two blooms are alike but the fragrance is eh, not my favorite um some people like it i don't really like it it's like a plasticky burnt rubber but i just love the blooms i haven't repotted it in two years so i really need to get to it uh, this spring there's uh, roots that are starting to come down so i'll get to that soon
Up next is one of my favorite Phalaenopsis orchids. This is my Phalaenopsis LD Bears King RH3. I repotted this with you guys um, over the spring and I put in this larger pot and it's finally blooming again. Now I repotted this in coconut husk and sphagnum moss and it's working out really nicely. And um, it's growing vegetatively very well. It's pushing out buds galore. And this is one that tends to bloom more in the fall and winter. Um, and it smells like oranges. I love this orchid just because of the fragrance. It's just really, really nice. The blooms are very pretty. This was one of my first um, summer blooming fowl orchids. It gets pretty big. The leaves are kind of glossy. They have that kind of lily pad look to them. Um, but this is a pretty easy orchid to grow. I think I'm gonna leave it in this pot for next year because it's doing well and the materials will not break down too quickly on me. Now this one is new to my collection for the year. Um, this was the um, Brassolalia Richard Mueller crossed with the Cattleya Triumphans. This is a bag baby that I got from Natty's garden. She sent it over to me and just check that out. This orchid is just beautiful. It blooms with a kind of like rosy hint to the yellow and then fades to a very bright yellow. You guys know that I love Richard Mueller hybrids. The fragrance is really nice. It's not super strong, but it's what I could say. It's like a um, kind of floral, not really citrusy, but it's nice. And um, despite the dry conditions, the blooms on this lasted for about three weeks and it bloomed again on another growth so i know that this is going to be vigorous just like uh, my other richard Mueller hybrids and speaking of which uh, the next orchid i'm going to show you is going to be yet another richard Mueller hybrid so you could compare and contrast um, how they look so ch check out the brasso lelio catlia paella spots you could see it's a little different from the last orchid but you could sort of see some similarities with the Richard Mueller in it where the blooms are a little smaller but the lip is very similar. Now this is one of my favorites because it blooms so many times per year. Um, I'd say that last year it bloomed maybe four to five times a year on me so that's really nice. When I have an orchid that only blooms once per year it kind of takes a lot of shelf space without um, really showing any anything, right? So I like to have orchids like this that are hybrids that tend to bloom more often to um, kind of give me some uh, something to look forward to, you know? So this is one of my favorites just because it's so prolific and easy to bloom and I really got to repot that in the spring. That deli container is full of roots and I don't want them to suffocate, but I love this one. This next one is a first time bloomer for me as well. Now you're gonna see uh, that it bloomed twice. So it bloomed for me towards the end of summer in 80 degree conditions, and then it bloomed for me in the winter and the color was very different. Now this one has a very, very strong rosy fragrance. It's very surprising, very pleasant, really nice. And um, I got this orchid from Sunset Valley Orchids about two years ago. It's the first in that batch to bloom and I'm still waiting on several others to start blooming. Um, but this was really nice. Now when it first bloomed, I was expecting it to have more spots on the petals because the parent is called Sunspot Sunspots. So the thing is, I finally got to see it in the winter. So check out the difference. So I ended up growing this in my bedroom, which is about 60 to 65 degrees all the time, about 20 degrees cooler than my grow room. And check out the spots on the petals and check out the difference in color. So a very different between growing it warm and growing it cool. So this is a nice orchid. I can't believe it's the same one. It's just gorgeous. I love this, this uh, lighter color better. I always want to say that this next one is one of my favorites, but I feel like I feel that way about a lot of my orchids. This is the Cattleya Yuko Ito Volcano Queen. I got this not last Christmas, but the Christmas before for a secret Santa swap. And I, oh, I just love it. It's one of the parents is the Golden Zell and it's a nice yellow. It smells like lemons. It's very vigorous. And it gave me one, two, three, four, I think five blooms this time. It's really vigorous, really nice. What I will say is that it's one of my larger Cattleya orchids. Um, it's nice and tall, so it does take up a lot of room, but the blooms are very pretty. 
with that said they didn't last too long this winter because it's kind of dry which is expected so this only bloomed for about 10 days before the blooms faded but i can't wait for it to bloom again in the spring it's another vigorous one and this one came from akatsuka orchids so I was excited to see this one because I bought it when the pandemic began. So I started getting my um, collection much larger when lockdown started, right? So I got this from Carmela Orchids in a box with 12 other Cattleyas. And this one is one of the few that hasn't bloomed yet. I have like maybe two or three from that batch that hasn't bloomed. So I was really excited when I saw buds. Now this one smells like very strong limes. It's really nice. I displayed it in my living room for like two weeks and I was sitting on my couch and in the morning when the sun would hit it I would smell that lime fragrance it's just really really nice highly recommend it it's got the um, the Digbiana as a parent so you could see the frilly lip a little bit it's really really cute Now you see what I say, every single orchid, I wanna say it's one of my favorites. This one's a dendrobium, angel baby, little darling. I'm just gonna say it's one of my favorite dendrobium orchids. The, um, the blooms smell kinda like gardenia, maybe a little bit like jasmine. It's like between both of those and it is blooming and it's growing really nicely. I'm gonna do a video next on removing cakeys off this orchid, um, but oh, look at how how nice the clusters of blooms are. It's very fragrant. It looks kind of like a nobly orchid, but doesn't require the rest of a nobly orchid or the temperature drop. I'm gonna have to divide this in the spring, I think, just because it's kind of getting unruly, but check it out, it's so nice. This was also another one of those orchids I got during the pandemic at the very beginning, and this is the Brassolalio Cattleya Solar Flare Paradise. This hasn't bloomed for me in about a year and a half, so I was surprised to finally see blooms. It's like, come on, like bloom already. Um, I don't know that it liked the transition to Lekka right away, but finally it's hitting its stride. It gave me five blooms. They're a little bit clustered in here, so not the best presentation, but this one also smells like lemons and it's pretty small and the flowers are also small so it's nice and compact if you're looking for something um, apartment friendly. Up last we have the Brasso Lelio Catlia Yen Corona Green Genie. This was gifted to me by my friend Gris Melda and this is so cute. So this one has beautiful green petals with like a pink detail on the lip and on some of the petals as well it's not fragrant but it's just cute as a button it's quite young so i was surprised to get a bloom off of it so early it's got maybe four or five canes at this point it's still very young so i know it's going to be a vigorous one and i know that i will get more flowers in future blooms So much for watching i hope you enjoyed the blooms let me know down in the comments below if there's any videos that you guys want me to make or any topics you want me to dive into and i will see you soon in my next video bye guys